That's correct. As a matter of fact, police here in Port St. Lucie say the people responsible face animal abuse charges. And we talked to the neighbor who called for help. Well, he's just glad tonight to know that those animals are going to survive and now with Humane Society. Well, as a dog owner, it's sad, you know, real sad. Victor Hall and his neighbors had enough. The house across the street appeared to be abandoned, appeared to have no power, and there were dogs inside. So he called Port St. Lucie police. To look in the window and you see dogs are in there and they're not in the best of shape, the place is filthy. And um, my neighbor looked to her and she said she's going to do something. So I just happened to be the one that had a cell phone and called the law and said, look, you really appreciate it if you send somebody out and check it out. Police got the call Sunday evening. When they arrived, they saw three pit bulls in poor condition staring out of the windows of the home. This is what they saw when they got inside. Trash, animal feces, and two more dogs in a back room, and then this. The dogs looked like they were trying to gnaw their way out of the house. There was holes in the walls. The wood was tore up and chewed on. It just looked like they were just in a fight for survival. And luckily for the neighbor to call us, so we can get in here and save them before they died from starvation. Animal control officers say the dogs were extremely emaciated and they believe the animals may have been in the home for up to 30 days. I mean, just to think about what that dog was feeling, you know, people don't consider that animals have feelings too. And what they were feeling, knowing that somebody wasn't coming back and then they were out of food and then they ran out of water. I mean, you know, that's a lot of stress on an animal. And a neighbor told us that the woman who lived in that house appeared to be taking care of the animals. But as you heard, police here, Port St. Lucie, say this is an ongoing criminal investigation. Now, coming up at 6, we'll hear what animal control officers had to do for the first time this year to get inside that house. Reporting live in Port St. Lucie, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.